By July, the tench in my local tench lake are difficult to catch. It is my opinion that the tench become cautious to the dangers of taking the common baits as the year wears on. I have tried different rigs and methods. I've also tried fishing from different swims and at different depths. But the common thread throughout my dwindling catches is always the baits. Back in the 1980s, along with the increasing popularity in carp fishing, came a raft of new baits and flavours. Being a young, naive beginner, I fell hook, line and sinker to the allure and exotic promise of Tutti Frutti. In its day, Tutti Frutti was very popular and caught a lot of fish, including tench. Tutti Frutti is nothing like as popular as it used to be, so I doubt that the fish in my local lake have, have seen much of it. It's not the best of conditions for tench. The water has dropped to its summer level and it's a bright sunny day. To improve my chances, I want to fish a shaded spot that will remain in shadow into the evening. I decide to fish the shady margins of a popular peg in one corner of the lake. To my left I have a tall reed bed and to my right there is a small patch of lilies in front of a reed bed. I'm going to use a small hybrid feeder, partly because of its self-hooking properties, but mainly because I can safely underarm cast short without tangles. To find the right place, I use a one ounce bond to fill for a flat area on the lake bed where I can land a feeder. Fortunately, I find a flat spot in the shade on both sides of my peg. To test my old school bait, I decide to feed very simply with mixed pellets, then use a tutti frutti banded pellet on the hook. To help it stand out, I add a little booster liquid before covering the pellet in ground bait. I start fishing at about 4pm. I don't see any tench for over two hours, but then from the right hand swim the first tench pulls the rod tip round at about half six in the evening. It was a juvenile, but still a tench. After returning the little fish, I fed the right hand swim and cast to the left. Ten minutes later, another juvenile saw the inside of my net. A minute to seven and the rod pulled round again in the right hand swim. A very lively tench of about three pound and the best so far on my tutti frutti test. Then finally a full fish and the last before I was expected home. One trip using Tutti Frutti is hardly conclusive, so I decide to try again a week later. This time I fish a swim in the opposite corner of the lake, not for any clever watercraft reasons, but simply because it's at the opposite end of the lake and it seemed like a good way to see if the Tutti Frutti actually works. Like before, I arrive mid-afternoon and fish into the evening. Weather conditions are the same, except the wind which is now blowing in the opposite direction. One big difference though, I'm going to fish a waggler, my favourite way of catching tench. On this peg I have lilies to my right and a reed bed to my left. Although I know the tench like lilies, with the sun beating down on them I fancy the reeds to be the better swim. Just as last time I will feed and switch between the swims every 10 minutes. 
Both swims are shallow and of the same depth. Allow me to use the same rig on either. The float is shotted with all the float's capacity grouped around the base except for three number eights which I have bolted together on the hook link. With the rig set a few inches over depth and the number eights an inch or two off the bottom it will be sensitive to both lift and dip bites. Tutti Frutti worked just as well float fished as it did with the method feeder. I didn't empty the place but there again I didn't expect to as July is well past the best time of year for tench. I am convinced though that Tutti Frutti is a flavour the tench like and since fishing I have also been reliably informed that pineapple works as well. In future I will definitely be adding Tutti Frutti to my list of good baits for tench and perhaps, in time, other fruity flavours. Please visit amateuranglin.com for videos, articles and books on fishing.